This is Larry's 1937 Cord. It's a supercharged car. And it's one of the last models that has ever been made by the Auburn Cord Duesenberg Company before the doors closed in 1937. This car really came out in, in 1937. They basically all had just three gears. This is four gears, which puts it into overdrive and then kicks into the supercharger. So it's uh, really neat. It's a really cool, cool machine. And it's been like hidden away for all these years. The A12 model is actually really revolutionary. It was the, one of the first front wheel drive model cars ever. It had a coffin nose hood, which was unheard of back in the 30s, with wonderful uh, pipes coming out of the hood. Larry just has some transmission problems, but right now, we're focusing on the shifter column. I drove it around the block and handled beautifully, and then when I went to try to uh, back it up, the reverse wasn't working. Then I popped it into first, and it wasn't working. So I had to put it in second and drive around the whole backyard and come back out again. Brad has taken the cord under his wing. So this is your shifter for the car. People say, well, how can it be a shifter? So you would, you know, you have first, second, third, and fourth and your reverse, so your steering wheel is here, this is your shifter. People say, well, how does that work? Inside here, there's a switch, and it's got multiple little selections, so when you select reverse, it hits two little terminals together and sends a signal to the pump. Pump lets the fluid come through, goes into this little box here. The vacuum chamber actually sits in, it's bolted in here. And when you switch the little gear shift electronically, it sends the message. It moves this back and forth, which is hooked to this rod. This would move this, and that would select your gears. You still have a clutch, which moves it and changes the gears. So for 36, 37, it was a pretty uh, complex thing. Well, this is Larry's car, so special attention needs to be looked after for every little facet of it because he's very particular. Um, I treat these cars as if they're my own and want things done correctly. Everything has to work.